Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and I'm um, here with the uh, Gal Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro. This is the 8.4 version. There is a 10.1 and a 12.2. Uh, I'm going to talk about the magazine UX here, and that involves all three variants. Um, I actually have the 10.1 as well. Haven't had a chance to play with the 12.2, but this is uh, the 8.4 version, so I figured um, I will show it to you on here. Now, uh, this is Android 4.4.2, so it, and it's still TouchWiz, but there are you know slight differences. The biggest difference really is um, the magazine UX. Now that the the magazine UX doesn't take over the whole system, but it is kind of it's almost like two launchers within a launcher in a sense, um, and I'll kind of explain that. When you first turn on the tablet, you're blessed with what I call um, the, the, the Android home screen. One home screen, you're used to normally seeing five of them, I think, on, on uh, most Galaxy phones. And the magazine UX, you can see this symbol down here. This, this line represents the Android side of things, uh, or the, I'll call it the standard Android side of things. And this little box type thing represents the magazine UX. And um, right now I have it set up with two pages of magazine UX. You can actually change that as well. We'll get into that. Now as far as the Android side of things, the standard Android side of things, you can add pages here as well. You just pinch and then hit the plus button and you just uh, and you add a page, add another plus and do it again. You're allowed four Android pages. You can also tap on the little home to make either one the default. So we'll come out now and technically now we have four dashes. So we actually have four, they're blank, four home screens. Now to get to the magazine UX is two ways. You can scroll to it and you can also, if you're over here to the right, you can actually keep scrolling so it just keeps going in either direction. Just keeps going. But if you're in here as well, you can also tap, if you're on one of the standard Android screens, you can tap on the little box and bring you right to uh, the first uh, magazine uh, UX uh, screen. Uh, I'll, call, I'll call these magazine UX home screens. Now, you can have, uh, that's really enough about TouchWiz, it's pretty much the same there. But as far as the magazine UX, which is, we're here to talk to you mostly about, you can have up to three pages here. So let's just uh, do the same thing. You pinch, you can add a third page. And I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll just get out of it now. And we'll look. And actually, there it is. It's, it's, uh, no, actually, it's not there until I put something on it. So my mistake. So we're going to add a page, and now you want to quickly add something to it. So this is how you would do it. Um, so there's a difference. In the standard Android, you can add a blank page, but in the magazine UX, you can't. So um, you can have applications. These are the news categories right here. Your arts, culture, business has everything pretty much. Your social. You can do Twitter. There's no Facebook for whatever reason, but you can access Facebook. I'll show you how. Um, applications like the music player and stuff. These are going to be Samsung stuff, so you're not going to get play music. It'll be the Samsung player. Uh, same thing with the video. It'll be the Samsung video player. So it's, if you download another thing like um, MX Player, it's not going to include that, Plex, or anything. There's also a magazine here and now. Um, which I'll show you that in another page. Uh, your email, calendar, and stuff. But right now, for just to keep things simple, I'll add business. And you can see it go right in there. And I will add um, style. And you can see it's making them bigger, you know, depending on how many you have. Um, I can leave it at that too. And I'll, you'll also be able to resize. I'll just throw in news. It doesn't matter right now. So that's pretty much it. We'll, now also you can tap on change layout for a random layout. Whoops. I just made that the default home screen, which I don't want to do. Um, but I'm going to do the change layout. I guess I might as well talk about that as well. But see, so the change layout just randomizes it. You can also fine tune it another way, which I'll show you. But you can see the little home button. So you can actually make one of the magazine UX pages your default home screen as well. So I just technically made this my default home screen. I could make this one or this one. So right now we'll just uh, say done. So let's just go out to the Android, one of these pages here, and I'll hit the home button. Goes right over here. So we want to get rid of that. In order to get rid of that, you'd have to go to one of your. Let's just say we want to make this one our default again. We'll just go over here and tap that, and we're done. By the way, incidentally, you can remove these just by tapping on any of them. And whoops, moving it right over the remove, 
and it gets rid of it and then you get the plus if you're less than four all right so we'll hit the home button and there's our thing now this is the one that we just created you can there's a refresh button um, which I just missed it these buttons are a little small at times I find uh, there's the refresh for each box you get one you can also hit the action menu which sometimes this doesn't load I don't know why there's some kind of bug about it default is top stories which gives you a bunch of different things but what you can do is um, uncheck uh, or un you can check different ones that they give you now from what I can tell there's no way to really customize this let me just bring this a little bit closer here uh, there's you know all kinds of different categories and you'll see them in technology and stuff too and in sports but like let's just say I want fortune for example I can check that and then uncheck the top stories and then go back and it's recycling on its own so what will happen is I'll only get fortune stories for now and you can also if you want to look at stories you can flick them just like this flick the stories now if you want to read a story tap on it and you go right into the flipboard style of things and you can see you can flip through and if you actually if you flip through and then you want to go back if there's sometimes you see this thing where it does this scrolling thing where it's going back to the beginning page um, so right now you're kind of in flipboard and these buttons here are very close together here. This is actually not a very good UI. You can hit the um, this little hamburger button and um, I didn't do that. I actually touched the article. So actually you can actually go into the article to read more. Uh, you want to hit, there it is. I've already logged in to Flipboard uh, so I already had an account. So it shows all your stories from here and you can tap on these and look at them. Um, however, it doesn't seem like you can incorporate them in the main magazine UX for whatever reason. But you can also go into your account, set up Facebook, so you can actually access Facebook right here if you want. So, and you can add accounts as well. You can also search for anything right here, which again, I missed it. These buttons are really small. So I can go ahead and search. And if I want to search for, say, Talk Android, which I already had on there, um, it's already in my normal feed, but I can go ahead and hit more results here, and it will show, uh, there it is, um, our page. And I can go ahead and tap on it and see news stories here. But there's really no way to incorporate it for some reason. There's no way to incorporate it into the main magazine UX. Um, now I'm going now I'm back out here again. Now the other way to kind of change things around is um, long pressing. So you uh, press and hold. Now in this one you get a similar type of thing where now you can kind of resize things. Now however if you've got the max maximum that you can have is six trying to resize. Resizing is kind of a messy thing here. They really don't have any way of explaining. So you got to say, all right, I think I need to get rid of something. So you can go in here and go to widgets. And let's just say I've got these things here and uh, here and now. And um, let's just say I want to get rid of sports. So now it's, it's made it a different size. And I can do the change layout again, but it's going to be random. So I actually got to go back out. <laughs> Um, and now I've got this set up here. I can tap to rest uh, get started on that. That's the here and now. The, uh, that gives you local. Um, but if I long press here, if I want to resize something, I can go like this here and then maybe move this smaller and it'll make this longer. But it's kind of like messy. If I want to try to make this longer, it's like a puzzle for crying out loud. And I move this up and then this is now longer. I can also go ahead and move this up and replace it, which doesn't always work right. Nah. It's just a it's it's 
not the easiest thing, and I can also remove here as well. That's right, I forgot about that. I can also remove um, a story as well. So let's just say I want to get rid of photo and design. I actually went, took you the long route. I can go like that and remove it and change it as well. So I didn't have to uh, uncheck that way that I just showed you. So my mistake there. Um, and I can go quickly in the widgets here as well and uh, uncheck. Uh, just like I showed you, but then you're you you uh, to go back. You're going to go back to the main thing. So um, the only problem is you can't go back to the change layout where you can do it on your own. It'd be more of a random. So you go to widgets. You're stuck with this change layout, which is more of a random setup. And that's pretty much it. Um, this is the magazine UX. Um, you know, you can add your calendar, music and stuff, and different stories, email, and like I said, your Twitter feed, and all that good stuff if you add those accounts. Of course, if you go ahead and do this, let's just say I want to change this page, or let's say I want to get rid of style, and I want to do the widgets, I can go ahead here and add Twitter. Now remember, I can't add Facebook. Twitter will be added. Okay, and then I go back. Here's Twitter, so I'm gonna have to sign into my account. Now, also, just so you know, you can get your uh, your um, your app drawer from any of these magazine UX pages, which is nice at least. And another quick thing I wanted to show you on the TouchWiz part: there is a little Google search on each of the Android uh, main screens. Uh, it's small. It's down here. You know, for a tablet, there's a lot of small icons and buttons, which is kind of weird, but. It is what it is. I mean, the, the tablet does have a stunning display, and I, I am doing a full review, and you can see that on the site. Um, but this is just on the magazine UX. But the tablet is, the, the display is absolutely gorgeous. You won't find a better display in the world. The only problem is it has TouchWiz, so, I mean, what are you going to do? Um, most mainstream consumers don't really care. This magazine UX, I guess it works well if you're someone... Um, like a mainstream consumer who, do, who you know don't really have any apps or anything that you use for news, anything major, it's going to be great for, for those people. If you're someone that's big, hardcore tech follower and the RSS feeds and all that, you're probably not going to get much use out of this. You're going to use, be used to your own thing. The, only, the biggest problem with it is you can't turn it off. Uh, it's kind of like when Blinkfeed first came out with the HTC One, and then they fixed that and answered the call and allowed people to eliminate it. Um, although it comes on default, and again, most people wouldn't even know how to get rid of it, but at least give you the option. Samsung is not, because they want to put it right in your face. But the interesting thing is this is Flipboard. It's just a glorified way of doing it up front, and then it's Flipboard once you get in. Um, so again, you know, you can uh, flick through the stories here. I mean, it, it is a decent interface, but the bottom line is um, it's hopefully something that you get use out of. Either that or you're going to be looking at it. Now, if you, if you don't like it, at least you can bring it down to one page, uh, which is nice. So, um, so you can long press and remove, and it's going to ask you, are you okay? Because all the settings are going to be gone. And, whoops, there we go. Okay. So I'm down to one page, hit the home, and at least, you know, I got one page to deal with, which is a lot better. So if you're not going to use it, bring it down to one page. I think out of the box is two pages. So anyway, that's it. That's the Magazine UX on the Tab Pro, the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro. Uh, I hope this helps you uh, get the most use out of it. And again, thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.